Okay, so I uh, got the water flow going to where the two tanks are now combined. I got a trickle coming out to uh, get a lot of surface tension broken here. So a lot, a lot of drops coming down. I basically rigged it. Um, there's a bunch of goldfish and some tilapia in here. Um, basically rigged it so this flower pot sort of plugs the hole a little bit so that the water fills up a decent amount uh, from here. And uh, so this whole thing is going to be a planter really soon. I just had to make sure I could level it out. I'm using these bricks. I'm having this metal bar that I got from the old uh, old uh, tarp cover thing. And it, I found it has a drip, so I'm putting that in this bucket. I'm probably just going to use a slow drip for this whole uh, hillside here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do something else to hold up the middle of that thing, but... I don't know if you can see in there, basically if, if I let that hole sag down then there's not going to be water in the top of that thing to keep the plants alive and filter everything out. So raising the center makes a good pool up there. Uh, finished putting in a lot of rocks and stuff up here. Keep that up, makes it look kind of nice. In the... Anyway, so what the deal is now is we have the pond down here. Water's flowing up the one tube that goes up beside there. Goes up and into the top part here. Starts coming down, the nice drips we were talking about. And then I have another big hose here coming out. And that's basically from the bottom and it's a uh, siphoning. So whatever water level this is at, this is where this tube is gonna be letting water out. So if I raise that up, it stops going. If I lower it down, it goes more. And I can also use that to like water the other plants too. So I just pulled that hose out and I got my ground plants that are going to be going that hillside there if I don't get a drip thing going, which it looks like I will. All this space behind here too. And then I can also use this little hose if I want to pull that out and water anything over on the other side of the pond once I get that going. So back to the water flow. It comes out through the siphon into this tank. Got a hole here that's coming out into the top of the bacteria filter and there's also another little hole so that uh, any overflow, um, I just want to make sure it keeps moving. Goes through here, out, uh, I think I can reach around. There's two little outlets there that are covered by rocks and the debris gets in there and they're not running down the side of that thing. So that's going to be a planter too. I just got the water level up to where I'm going to put these materials in. This thing I finished putting in the planting material. It runs out into there and then from there, it drips out two different ways. One, nice little waterfall. I think I might do some little bonsai something neat down in there. But it's got a nice little trickle and it's kind of cool. Um, so that water that goes that way goes through this thing and out a tube. And then there's also another tube in top, on top of the big long one uh, that just runs straight into here. But what it does is gives me lots of bubbles, breaking the surface tension, oxygenating the water, for the nice little fish to get their uh, oxygen, so they can breathe, you know. So that's basically the water flow. This is going. Got it. Everything's pretty much in place. Can't wait until these ugly white things are covered in beautiful plants. Um, I got some plants over here. They're probably gonna transplant, but uh, that's looking really nice. And uh, Tina wants that all open, so I figure we'll move some of that stuff and see what lives over into here but uh yeah this is what it looks like right now and uh like i said time to put some plants in